Hi, everybody. Um, Thanks for listening. I just wanted to share uh, something really quick. Um, I I had this experience last night in my dreams with the Lord, and um, I'm still really shaken up by it. And... I don't have any answers. It wasn't a bad thing, but I I don't have any answers um, exactly. But I just felt I wanted to share. And before I went to bed, um, I I just prayed for discernment and understanding and revelation and stuff. And the Lord started throwing breadcrumbs as I was falling asleep revelations about personal things and um I don't exactly know what they add up to but um the grand finale I was in a dream a full dream but it was very lucid it was as if it was real and um I was in my living room and uh, I just I I don't know what hap- what happened like the Lord the Lord descended and in a very kind of divine angelic voice kind of like you know when you wet your finger and put it around the wine glass kind of like that um it just said kneel at my presence and um and the power and the holiness it was just so terrifying it was so terrifying and you know i i really felt that divide between our flesh and how holy yeshua is and how how much we are in sin i mean it was just it was just so pathetic i felt so pathetic so unworthy to be at his presence and and in the dream i was kneeling at yeshua's feet and I said, oh my, God, I don't know. You know, it was weird. It was a dream like the Lord was showing me what my secret emotions would be. I'm like, oh my God, this is happening. And and I started raising up upside down. And he showed me some things about, you know, being worried about the break-ins all the time. You know, my targeting and the murder of my mother. Because that anniversary is coming up and... um how I, I have to suppress all my emotions just to survive and and it's just has really affected my walk and stuff but um you know the lord sees all that but i don't know i just woke up hysterically crying i'm i'm still in tears just trembling it was so powerful it was just so i i don't you know I really don't know what to say. But I just wanted to share this. And he was, he was just so holy. And the metaphor was like, that I was shown was Mary crying at Jesus' feet in the scriptures. And I, and, I, and that's what I was doing when I woke up. As I, I saw his feet in the spirit. And I was just hysterically crying washing his feet and just hysterically crying like it was so terrifying it was just so terrifying and you know the Lord showed me assured me it wasn't a bad thing but I really don't know what it all means but I just wanted to share I I don't know I I asked him if I should share this he said share it so beyond humbling and you know I think I just needed a good cry 
and a good shaking in the spirit. Um, but you know, I I just really felt the sincerity of Mary beyond sincere isn't even the word. It was just complete, complete fear and trembling at his holiness and just hysterically crying washing his feet and wanting to anoint him with oil and um, I guess that's the point is that that's all that matters you know the story of Mary and Martha in the gospel of Luke you know we want to be Mary you know focus on getting ready with the earthly things so much but I mean I, I don't know you know I, I just I doubt any of us are, I'm sure all of us are going to be surprised and taken in awe when he comes I, I don't know but I mean I mean just logically when when the king of all of creation steps out of his throne, th- steps out of his throne, all of creation will bow down, and only the Lord will prevail. Um, and I don't know, but I just wanted to share that experience, and I really saw the significance, and since just the. Wow, just Mary at Jesus' feet, enough tears to wash his feet and dry them with her hair because he is so holy and so mighty and it was just that it was just absolutely terrifying. And I'm still shaken up as you could tell. It was absolutely terrifying. Thanks guys.